So this is where I'm working today. As you can see, there's the salmon cages out there. I'm out in Mistpeck and I'm building a deck. So you can see that. You know, it's a great day. And I got out here and I looked out on the water and I'm like, that's beautiful. And then I looked at the deck I'm building and I thought, that's a lot of work. And then I talked to the landowner and we started talking about another project that he wants to get done. And well, you know what? I got distracted and I forgot completely that I was making a video here this morning. Now, this isn't exactly what I had intended to do it on, but I got distracted. You know, life's like that, isn't it? You know, it doesn't matter if it's work, or it doesn't matter if it's play, it doesn't matter if it's beauty. We get distracted by so many things around us. Some are good, some are bad, some are fun, some are not so fun. And you know what? Sometimes a distraction isn't a bad thing. Sometimes a distraction gets a bad rap, because sometimes we get so focused on something that we need to be pulled out of the everyday and the monotony just to stop and appreciate what it is God has given. Sometimes it's it's work. And you know, a lot of people these days are out of work because of all the COVID thing and self-quarantining and their jobs. And they, some people have lost their jobs and they'd love to be going back to work. So, you know, sometimes being distracted by work and saying, you know what, I'm focused on that, that's not a bad thing. And then sometimes it's like the work is, there's a lot of work and sometimes you need to just stop and be still. Know that God is God and look at the nature that God has put around us to keep our focus on what's important. I've talked a lot about nature and the more I get out in it, the more I realize that we have a God that just likes pretty things, just likes beautiful things and sometimes likes to distract us. I like when Jesus was on the, giving the sermon um, on the mount and he's gave the Beatitudes and then he turns to the fields and he goes, take a look at the fields. Aren't they beautiful? Isn't that amazing? Solomon in all of his splendor didn't have anything close to this. People stopped and they looked and they said, yeah, that's, that's God. That's God making beautiful things. There's a song and I can't remember all the lyrics and it's probably good because I'd start singing it and then that would go bad. But there's a song that says, God makes all things beautiful in his time. What the enemy meant for evil, you turned it to good. Oh, now I'm going to start to sing. No, I won't. But it's, isn't it true that sometimes that the things that we get focused on and we get focused on how bad it can be and God just turns it around and says, take a look. I'm making it, I'm making it beautiful. God made the fields beautiful. I love driving down the highway and seeing all the lupins. They remind me of my dad. My dad loved lupins. And you know, some people consider them weeds. Supposedly they'll take over a field. But in certain places, they're beautiful. I don't know, I'm kind of all over the map today. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm distracted. Distracted by good things. So today, you know what? If God stops you and just shows you something that wasn't exactly in your plan and wasn't exactly what you were focused on take the time to appreciate it appreciate the distractions and then like me get back to work god bless you we'll talk to you soon